the assistance is evil. No, we're not talking about world devouring aliens, but the beckoning outdoors, especially during summer. Indeed, members of the motoring media couldn't resist when Asian Car Makers Corporation invited them over to Santa Rosa Laguna for a good old fashioned picnic and fun in the sun. We are here bright and early at the Monaco here in the Valley, Santa Rosa Laguna. With me today is the President and CEO of Asian Car Makers Corporation, Ms. Maricar Parto. So, Maricar, tell me why are we here today on a Saturday morning? Yes, good morning, Cap, and uh, thank you for joining us. We're here uh, this morning to welcome the newest member of the BMW family, that's the BMW 2 Series Active Tour. The Active Tour is uh, another first in uh, BMW. It is our first MPV or multi-purpose vehicle. You know, we have a wide range of uh, cars, as you know, from the BMW 1 Series to the X Series Sport Activity Vehicles. And because we understand and the ever-growing needs of our customers, we decided to bring in the market the two series active tours. Who would have thunk it? But BMW actually now has an MPV. You heard that right? That's right beside you here, the BMW 2 Series Active Tour. As you can see, it's all tripped out and ready to go where you want to go. But first things first, what is an MPV? Well, the term is largely supplanted the word minivan owing to its soccer mom image, usually presented by Hollywood. By whatever name though, it means a vehicle that emphasizes generous space for both passengers and cargo, especially useful for families on the go. We feel that the BMW Series Active Tour is perfect for a young family to serve their needs uh, from the active lifestyle and yet we still have a stylish vehicle to bring to work. It's something that you can bring to uh, formal affairs and weekend affairs okay. and it's flexible enough because of its uh, fuel efficiency and uh, space and its compact size to bring urban and outdoors as well. People nowadays are very active. They work, uh, they have to take, take care of their families as well. They go outdoors and have different lifestyles. Sure. Uh, they go work out and um, the, the, the vehicle has to be able to address all of these but still in style. So that's what we're saying. It's an MPV. The 2 Series is an MPV yet it's unmistakably with a BMW style and our promise all the time is it still gives you shield driving pleasure which is the DNA of uh, all BMW vehicles. To get a closer look at BMW's new toy, I enlisted the help of Carl Matsusi, ACC's marketing director. But the market is going towards the compact segment. You know, more families are acquiring cars that are more versatile. But the good thing here, the two series active people with all the other entities out there in the market is that the MPG stigma of being a car, a mom movie, is actually uh, going to be erased. We did not alienate the, the features of the car from how a standard BMW should be. As you will notice, the console is still slightly directed towards the driver. So again, it allows for ease of operation. And it, the driver really feels that he's in control of the car. So it's still a driver's car. It is a proper driver's car. So what's the engine under the hood? Okay. The engine is actually an interesting part of the vehicle. Why? This is the BMW twin power turbo 1.5 liter petrol engine. Three cylinders. Three cylinders? Three cylinders. Wow. But what is beautiful about this engine is that it gives you the fuel efficiency of a three cylinder engine, but the smoothness of the power delivery of a four cylinder. So, okay, so this would in no way be underpowered? And definitely not. After the launch, I decided to ask one of the respected motoring journalists in attendance for his take on BMW's first ever MPV. I think it has some big potential for uh, buyers, upscale buyers who have families who want to take out on weekends, 
and two runs. It's uh, perfectly suited for parents. Well, I think the direction of BMW has always been to, well, at least in, uh, in the recent decade or so, is to get into as many niches as possible. So it's just one niche that they're getting into, and uh, I think they'll be successful in it, just like in all the other uh, niches they've uh, entered. Today at the Monaco in New Valley at the heart of Santa Rosa Laguna, the viewer we able to witness the very successful launch of BMW's MTV, the Series 2 Active Tour. This has been Camp Maceda Aguila for Wheels TV. I'll see you guys very soon, okay? To our first stop here in Batangas, it's called the Basilica of the Al. It was built in 1575. It is, in fact, the biggest Roman Catholic church in all of the Philippines. There's a special pleasure in discovering hidden gems, and this summer, Fort Philippines ran us through some roads less traveled, and rightfully aboard two of their newest gems, the Guani Ford Explorer Sport and the Stylish Ford Escape. Right now, we're driving the Ford Explorer with EcoBoost. It's got the 3.5 liter engine, so we have a lot of power on the highway. I know a lot of people say that inside the Explorer, you have your own little man cave going on. But I'd like to say that it can be a woman cave as well. Everything's so comfortable, you have nice details, the seats are very ergonomic. I have a really brawny ride. I feel extra safe. So our first stop here in Batangas is called the Basilica of the Al. It was built in 1575. It is, in fact, the biggest Roman Catholic church in all of the Philippines. So that makes it a significant landmark here in this facility. So these are the interiors of the beautiful Basilica of Taal. It's really, really pretty. The architect of this basilica is the same architect who made the Manila Cathedral. Now, what actually catches my attention here is that up on the ceiling, you can see a painting that is reminiscent of a Michelangelo piece. I know we're not in Rome, but I can sort of see an image of the creation from the Sistine Chapel. Now, how on earth did that get here? But that's pretty interesting. The Ford Explorer Sport is a mid-sized all-wheel drive SUV that carries a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 engine that spits out a healthy 360 horsepower but now takes it easy on the gas thanks to its remarkable EcoBoost engine technology. The provincial roads of Matangas, they're kind of tight, but I still feel very comfortable in this Explorer. It's still compact enough to be handled easily through these tight roads. Our next stop in historical Batanga was a well-preserved ancestral house named Villa Tortuga. Now this is a well-preserved ancestral house with really, really pretty interiors from the Spanish colonial period. And over here you can see but then we have like classic images of Jesus Christ on the cross, probably leading all the way back from the time of the Spanish and oh my god. Chucky. I want to have a picture of Chucky. Oh my god. Okay. Now, Vanita ko, yung mga patanggin nyo, ay mahilig daw sa chocolate. So, they like to eat chocolate with everything. And in this case, bagay na bagay ang ating suman with chocolate. Eh. With 
stop. Next week, we're going to be showing the newest and greatest cars only here on Real TV. TV. 